hi good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you may be whatever the time is about 6 20 now am i slept really early last night so i woke up really early today and yeah i've done a bit of stuff Looking through my emails looking at instagram and i've stumbled upon this page it's by zikilicious i think she's a food blogger or a food person yeah so i saw this meal on one of her highlights yamarita i'm sure some of you know what yamarita is this having tfc back in lagos i've never tried to make yamarita guys so as i said though i just started having that mood to make the meal today so that's what i'm going to do and i want you guys to come along with me whatever it is you're doing um if you're having breakfast whatever breakfast it is you're having let's just have our breakfast together today yeah so what do you think i watched her videos the amateur was nice it was actually like the tfc one to be honest very light and stuff but i want mine to have the butter i want it to like be a bit darker like to be a bit more burnt and then to be a bit thicker yeah and then more peppery because to be honest hobby doesn't even eat anything that doesn't have pepper and it'd be nice to have the meal together of course i was excited when i saw big beans because to be honest i usually get bored of big beans but the sauce she made she used big beans to make it so we have a tin of big beans in the house so i thought that would come in good we don't have barbecue sauce she used barbecue sauce but i have this pepper sauce that i just brought just in case he complains that the food is not as hot so he is but he, do, he doesn't even feel really really um he, heated like it's not that spicy so cool i'm going to use it for the sauce of this thing and i don't have tuna i don't even really like tuna so i'm going to use sausages in place of tuna for the sauce yeah exciting times come on, let's go have breakfast together <laughs> the ingredients maggi cubes all my herbs white pepper curry thyme vegetable oil you can see the ketchup sitting right at the back the hot sauce flour there's lagos chili pepper and i've got my colored peppers as well which includes scotch bonnet because we need intensity in this family and then you can see the flour baked beans the eggs the yam down there so i cut my yam into pieces um, that i would like to put them in and i forgot the onions so that's the onions now with the colored peppers so put salt in the water while I'm boiling the yam, obviously. I'm going to pre-boil the yam, not completely boil it since we're frying. And then I start mixing my flour and another type of pepper with the flour. After mixing the flour with some pepper, I keep that aside and then go concentrate on the eggs. The eggs is going to have all the magic really. So the ketchup, the hot sauce, all my spices again are going to go into the eggs, including salt and of course pepper. <music> I then whisk everything together and go check up on the yams the yam seems to be fine so i take them all out and let it cool man this yam was wasting my time to cool down so i literally had to place it by the window so it could get cool fast while that was cooling i went to start making my sauce so put some oil so I find the sausages first of all and fry the baked beans put all my ingredients spices and everything in the sauce make sure it tasted real good while i was doing this i was watching youtube because usually i like to catch up on youtube on my ipad when i'm cooking it's okay but yeah um exactly somehow if your partner admits to you that he doesn't like the way your body is Once I was done with the sauce, I put that aside and focused on the yams. So for the yams, I dip it at first in the flour and pepper mix, turn it around properly and then put it inside the egg mix, which is like the main mixture of everything, tasty and stuff. Turn it around there and then put it back into the flour and pepper mix. Put it in the frying pan. Okay, no, before I put it in the frying pan, I laid everything on the plate so that I can put everything, you know, batch by batch. I think I did this whole thing in three batches. As I mentioned earlier, I said I wanted my crust to be proper brown and proper thick. So I ensured that by putting enough of the flour and pepper mix once the eggs were on the yams. <laughs> So 
I fried it all out, served it in the plates, and then went to have breakfast with him. While I was eating, I was watching a documentary of Jackie Kennedy. Yes, I just found that interesting. Yes, and I was like, okay, let's just watch. So I kept watching it until today. And that's what I'm going to watch while eating. Hope you're having your own breakfast and hope you're having a good time as well. So now let's eat together. <music> Okay, that's why he's staying in Bizarre. After a short stopover, it was on to Houston, where Democratic Governor Connolly and his wife joined the presidential party. On the morning of November 22nd, the Kennedys hosted a meeting in the Chamber of Commerce in Fort Worth. Jackie's entry in a striking pink outfit won a standing ovation. Nobody wonders what Lyndon and I weigh up. Then he went on to Dallas. The Kennedys took time out to greet supporters before joining the presidential motorcade for the 11 mile ride to the Dallas Prater. Kennedy was scheduled to address business leaders at a noon luncheon. The presidential party was running late, but no one seemed in a hurry. Governor and Mrs. Connolly rode with them in the open top limousine. It was a beautiful late autumn morning. The good weather had brought out large traffic.
Her paint suit, now stained with blood, stood by as Lyndon Johnson was sworn in as president. She was no longer the first lady. But there was still one official function she had to perform, to oversee the funeral arrangements of her husband, the slain president. It was to be an occasion that would leave her indelibly etched in the mind of millions. She asked to stay at the White House late that night to help in the funeral arrangements. Uh, she knew exactly how she wanted to be. So at this point, I was already filled up, and he's has he was already filled up as well. I think his sauce had even finished. So I just packed up all his remnants, put it in my plate, and I'll put it in the bowl. If I get hungry later, I'll have it. If not, God knows what will happen. Thanks so much for watching, guys. To have a lovely and blessed day today. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.